Are you wondering about mediation in Colorado and how to resolve your differences with your soon-to-be ex-spouse in a friendly way? Hi, I'm Marie Drake of the Drake Law Firm, and I'm here to talk to you about the cost of mediation and what it entails. First, you should know that Colorado orders everybody to mediation. So when you file for divorce or you're trying to change custody or change child support, almost every court orders mediation to happen first. So you might as well do it. And what does that mean? That means you call a mediator, you make an appointment, and you sit down with that mediator to work out all of your differences. That means how is the custody situation going to look? Who's getting the boat? How are you dividing the equity in your house? All of these things are on the table in a mediation. And the best way to go into it is thinking, how can we create a global agreement about the kids and about what we own and also about what we owe? Mediation is always cheaper than duking it out in court and having a judge tell you what you're going to do with your house and your boat and your children and everything else. You come to an agreement together with someone that you hire. You can hire someone privately and the going rate is generally what lawyers charge, or you can go through what's called the Office of Dispute Resolution, ODR for short. And those mediators are only 150 an hour. So $75 each, you generally split it. And they're wonderful. They're usually the same mediators that you would get for a much higher fee. If you're concerned about the cost of a half day or full day mediation, let me tell you this, the cost of going to court and having a hearing or two and having to comply with all the court orders is a lot more expensive. So consider mediation. And if you have more questions about mediation, give us a call here at the Drake Law Firm. We're here to answer your questions and help you through this process.